Hi. Hello. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Cynthia if you are new here. I put on jeans for this so you know we're serious. Today we are upgrading my desk and I have been wanting to do a desk video since I started this channel back in like October of 2023. I just, I'm very picky. You know, I have a certain, I hate the word aesthetic, but I do. I have an aesthetic and I don't like to just buy things because they're cute or because I like them in the moment. I really like to invest in pieces that will last me a long time, especially when it comes to like electronics and furniture. Decor I'm a little more loose with. <laughs> if I see a plant and I think I can take care of it, I buy it. And if I learn that I can't take care of it, I just don't buy it again. But we are primarily upgrading my chair. You can't see her right now, but I will give you a better view of her in a moment. She's getting an upgrade. She was a basic staples chair that i got for like 50 dollars at staples and she has lasted me quite a few years but she doesn't have arms she doesn't have lumbar support and the padding on the chair is kind of flat i've had her <laughs> for three four years now so i think it's time for her to retire also i'm 31 now i need lumbar support not in my 20s back isn't what it used to be also i'm upgrading this little shelf with my mac mini sitting on top of it because to be honest it is functional but the look of it doesn't work. The shelf is white. The aesthetic of my desk is very black, wood, maybe some earth colors mixed in. <laughs> I don't really have like a color scheme going other than like black and wood. That's kind of it. And I like it. I like it. So I did buy a couple of things. People drive me nuts. I don't go into stores anymore. So I did drive up and I got a new charging port. I also ripped... I also accidentally ripped the tag on this. I got Ziggy some cat food and the box like scraped down the front of it when I was putting it in the bag. But anyway, this is actually for the bathroom. It's a bathroom drawer and Target makes like stackable ones. And I saw this like kind of smallish narrow one and I was like, this is perfect. This is perfect. Did I need a drawer? No. But I needed something that was mesh so that the Mac Mini wasn't sitting on a solid surface and reducing the airflow to keep it cool. This was a great find. And then we have the chair, which you can't see. Again, I'll get you a better view in a moment. I found her on Amazon and it turns out waiting worked out in my favor because I got her for $30 off. She has armrests that fold up. She has a lumbar support and a freshly padded seat. So realistically, I just kind of upgraded this chair. I will also say I'm not really decorating. I'm more so upgrading some things. Like I'm upgrading my charging port because the little one I have from Ikea just doesn't cut it anymore. Ever since I started a YouTube channel, I have to charge my camera, my mics, my batteries. Like there's so many more things that are being plugged in. I also use my Switch a lot more. I initially bought my Switch two years ago to play Animal Crossing and then kind of lost interest <laughs> and I hadn't touched my switch in about a year and now I'm obsessed with Stardew Valley so that I also charge over here so really it was just making this space more functional for me because now I spend a lot more time here I don't have a laptop anymore I used to have a MacBook and I would work anywhere like in bed on the couch and I very rarely sat at my desk but now that I'm here more often I'm realizing that the space needs a little bit more time and attention that's what we're gonna do today. So I don't think I have any more housekeeping. I guess let's just jump right in. Also, I do just wanna say, <laughs> I really hope this chair is e easy to assemble. A lot of the reviews on Amazon said that it was pretty easy to assemble. So I'm really hoping that that's because Diego was at work and he shot a wedding last night. He's working a uh, seven, seven and a half hour shift today and tomorrow. So I didn't want to be that person who's like, hey, I know you've been working for like 18 hours. So uh, could you like help me? Um, so we're gonna we're gonna let Diego rest. <laughs> I'm going to attempt to put this together myself. So fingers crossed that it's not insane and it actually is fairly easy to assemble. We have an armrest. Another armrest just with blue bubbles. Okay. We have the seat, the legs, bottom legs. What do you call this? That's gonna bother me. 
the beck. The thingy that goes on the legs to adjust as well as... <clears throat> Not sure why my voice was super squeaky there, but the little nut screws as well as the wheels and the little, little metal part, whatever. I don't like doing that hand gesture. I don't want that hand gesture on the internet. As well as the part to adjust... Okay. What are you doing, stinky baby? Are there no instructions? Did I miss something? Oh no! Okay. <laughs> A little nervous. Oh, okay. Okay. Fall alarm. They taped the instructions to the back of the seat. We're good. Also, this feels very nice. Very cushioned. My butt is excited to sit on this. Ooh. It is one page. I was a little worried we were gonna get an Ikea textbook. We got this. read something and like brain is just not comprehending brain brain is just not braining right now okay we're putting the armrests on As you can see, chair is done. She is finished. She is very comfy. Like this cushion is so much like, it's cushioning a lot better than my old chair. I will give it that. I'm still playing around with the lumbar support, but I do like that there's a bit of it. It's not too much. The armors are a little lower than I thought they'd be, but I like that I can put them up, bring them back down. Honestly, I'm just kind of happy that I have armrests at all <laughs> because on my previous chair, I didn't. So out with the old and with the new. Oh, I really like this chair. I love spinning in it, but I'm going to get dizzy. So I'm going to stop. So just a little quick side-by-side -side comparison. This chair, I got at Staples for $50. Don't regret it, but it's the most basic chair I have ever owned. No arms, no lumbar. I don't care what they say. This is not lumbar support. This chair, the upgrade, armrests that go up and down, lumbar support, very nice. 
but just a little side by side. Just a very, just a very overdue upgrade to be honest with you. Also assembly wasn't anything crazy. Like it was literally one page, put the arms on, put the back on, put the wheels on. It was pretty easy to assemble. It was, it did kind of get me there though when I was putting the armrests on the seat. <laughs> I was getting a little frustrated because every single time I would get it to line up, it would then like unalign itself. I'm also very hot. It's very humid. And now I'm sweating. So I went into this very enthusiastic, uh, but by the end of it, I was over it, but I did it. So yay. Now let's move on to the drawer. So previously I had my Mac in a little stand. So it stood up because I noticed that when I laid it flat on my desk, it would get really, really hot. Like after like an hour or two of use, it would start to just run super hot. And I don't know if it's just me, but I had that issue with my MacBook. Granted, it was like an Intel, it was an Intel chip MacBook Air, but that thing, like by the time I traded it in, <laughs> was so hot after like just 15 minutes of literally just internet browsing, not even anything heavy duty, like photo, video, editing, running apps, nothing, literally just running Chrome. It was crazy. So I have found that with the Mac mini, it needs ventilation. And I didn't really want to have it standing up anymore. It wasn't really the vibe. So I found this little white shelf. I don't remember where we were using it before in the apartment, but it was folded up and I was like, oh, perfect. I'll use this. The only downside is that I hate looking at it because it's white. It doesn't fit with like the look of my desk area. So I went to Target. Well, no, I went to the Target app and I browsed because I don't shop in stores anymore. I, <sighs> people just be peopling too hard in the year 2024. I'm sorry, it's true. So I did order, but I found they have from their like Brightroom brand, I guess. It's a stackable drawer. This is their small one but I like it because it's mesh on top. I like that there's an actual drawer. This is meant for like bathroom, like toiletries kind of stuff. But I was like, you know what? This could work for a desk. Why not? So I'm gonna get this set up. Please do not mind the mess. I'm going to clean it up in a moment, but this is the current charging situation. Then I got at Ikea so long ago. It has served me well. I need a few more spots. So that's why we're gonna swap it with this one. All right, friends. Well, this was a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be. Not that I didn't think it was going to be fun. I always try to film things that I find fun. I think just the anticipation of wanting to do this and actually like doing it <laughs> is what makes me feel just so excited. But truthfully, I just needed a few desk upgrades. Nothing anything serious, but the desk is now clean. 
I am very ready to get some work done. So I'm going to go edit because my video is running a little late. And, and as always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you for upgrading my desk with me because I feel like little things really made such a big difference. And I'm very happy with the upgrades so far. I definitely think there will be more. For now, I'm happy with what I have. So as always, thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye.